welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon and if you don't know, I am pregnant. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be filming kind of regular updates on the pregnancy throughout and also vlogging this time. Um, probably vlogging when we have a baby and yeah, I really have been enjoying doing kind of weekly vlogs and things like that. So I really don't want those to stop, especially when we have a baby. So yeah. Um, if you would like to follow along on our journey, then please do subscribe and make sure you are following along. It's me. I'm currently seven weeks pregnant. I turned seven weeks yesterday, so I'm going to be talking about week six of pregnancy um i've kind of been writing on my phone like notes um of kind of how i've been feeling as the week goes on um so i'll kind of read those out and talk about it obviously i feel like in this first trimester things change so quickly and there's already things on there that i'm like oh i don't really feel like that at the minute so that's good because most of these symptoms aren't cute but um yeah let's get into those first thing that i've noticed is that i have been obsessed with smoothies <laughs> i have just wanted a smoothie every day all the time they're just so refreshing and like i don't know i've not really fancied a lot of food um i've there's been times where i felt hungry and then i think about what food and i'm like i can't think of anything i want like bleh, bleh, bleh. but smoothies so far i've always fancied and obviously that's a good way to get like some kind of nutrients into me um, so in the mornings I'll have like my smoothie and I'll have my pregnancy vitamin. <laughs> um, so yes, smoothies is number one. I'm really enjoying smoothies, but I wonder if that will change. I wonder if it will get to like week 10, I'll be like, oh God, I hate smoothies, <laughs> but we'll see. Next thing I've written in capitals is so tired. Oh my God. And oh my God, I'm so tired. <laughs> um, I think I probably spoke about this last week. I felt like this since before I knew I was pregnant. It is just a different type of tiredness. Like yesterday, for example, I woke up normal time, like seven. I didn't get out of bed till like 11. I was like sleeping that whole time. And then I woke up, saw Ollie for a bit, had some lunch with him. And then at like one, I fell asleep on the sofa and I woke up at like four when he came downstairs to see me. And cause obviously he's still working. And then I went to bed last night and I just slept absolutely fine. Like. I can just sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep and that is not me normally um i have been waking up in the night which obviously will affect my like tiredness and things a bit but it's not horrendous amounts it's just i wake up for a wee a couple of times which i've never done before like i'm not someone who wakes up in the night for a wee at all my whole life um i just don't so yeah that's different as well i've written here always hot window always open now that has already changed um i feel like for the first couple of weeks um i was pregnant i was really hot a lot of the time um like last week it was really hot in general like the weather outside was really hot um but there were also days where it wasn't um and i've just had to have a window open just for some fresh air i just always felt stuffy like i just always felt hot um i was waking up super hot in the mornings and ollie would be like it's not hot so i think that was me i think that was my body but yeah i've really been enjoying having a window open um it's just like having fresh air is just something i feel like i need right now um which is weird because i don't normally feel like that because i don't like the idea of bugs coming in <laughs> so there you go i've been letting the bugs in in week six i've written t-e-o I think it's meant to say tea, maybe. Um, I've not really been able to drink much tea. Every now and again, I'll be able to have a cup of tea. Um, obviously, you're not meant to drink as much when you're pregnant anyway. I think I'm allowed like two cups a day. Um, but sometimes Ollie's made them for me and I'm like, nope, 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 nope. It's kind of that feeling like, I don't know if you get it, like if you're hungover and the next day, like I could not think of anything worse than having a cup of tea. Just, I think it's like the milkiness of it. It just no so yeah i've not completely gone off it sometimes i can stomach it um but yeah tea's a bit iffy crying i've written crying 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 um two days ago i <laughs> we were sitting here at night and we have chocolate in the house we have like um Dio deli or whatever it's called from florida we have like terry's we had like 
Bueno. We had different types of chocolate, but I just wanted Galaxy or Cadbury's, just standard Galaxy or Dairy Milk. And we didn't have any, and I got really upset. Like I just, it was all I could think about. Like I couldn't concentrate on what we were watching on the TV. <laughs> upset I was like crying I just wanted chocolate that's like bloody hell like I know I love chocolate but I've never cried over it before um so I don't know if that was like a craving um in the end I had what did I have that like made it go away I did have some I think I had some of the Giardelli chocolate or how Giardelli or whatever however you say it some of that and it was like dark chocolate and that always kind of gets rid of chocolate cravings quite quick for me because it's quite strong isn't it but um yeah I still the next day like yesterday went out and bought Galaxy and Cadbury's because I was like I need it so yeah craving slash crying um I've been a little bit emotional over little things I'm a very emotional person anyway um but it's not been like that. It's not been my normal emotional crying. It's been over really silly little things and I can feel myself like feeling really sad and I'm like, what? Like, it's so weird. Acid reflux slash like heartburn. Um, I've had this on and off the whole time, even before I knew I was pregnant. Um, but this week I've been getting it here again, like just quite a lot when I'm laying down, like when I'm in bed, but also, um, I had it the other night and I think we had like spaghetti bolognese and I just it was like irritating it I, I think tomatoes have got like is it acid I don't know like tomatoes seem to hit me with like flare-ups there so yeah I've been having that a bit I don't know if I've spoken about this but not because I didn't want to talk about it but because I think I forgot like I've not written it down but I am not someone that burps like I I'm used to hear people burp and I'll be like I just don't understand because I don't get that like need to burp it just I just never do like sometimes when I have like a coke I'll get like a tiny little like bubble <laughs> but never like I never understand people that do big belches like I just would be like where does that even come from I don't understand since I've been pregnant I am doing massive burps like I'm so burpy so much and it's not even because I'm drinking coke or anything like I've kind of stopped drinking um I only really drink diet or like um, zero coke and lemonade anyway um, but I've not been drinking it as much Ollie wanted me to look into if it's okay to drink when pregnant um, and I've not actually looked at that I've kind of just been having like the odd sip of lemonade if that's all I feel like I can you know like sometimes when I'm feeling sick like lemonade really like helps um, so I'll have like a quick swig of that but I've not really been drinking it but I need to look into if that's okay <laughs> um, and what was I saying? Yeah, so it's not from like gassy things, it's just me. I just am burpy at the minute. <laughs> um, sickness, I've not been sick yet. I don't know if that is normal. I don't know if a lot of people were sick earlier on or if I've still got that to come, but I've felt sick a lot. Um, I don't know. I think, I don't think it was this week. I think it was the week before. Ollie made porridge one day and that very, very, very nearly made me throw up. Um, and yeah the smell of it the look of it like nope he made it for me and I just no 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 um I felt sick a lot to be honest um sometimes I'll just be talking and then I'm like I feel like I can't talk anymore because I feel like I'm gonna be sick um and sometimes like preparing food like I normally love cooking um but I've not really felt like cooking because I've been so tired and also just because a lot of like food preparation like the thought of it it makes me feel queasy I'm not sure I don't know if that's a thing but I just have been feeling queasy and tiredness again so just to reiterate I've been feeling really tired I obviously was having like a moment um and headaches yes so for the last like not today and maybe yesterday morning but days before that I was having a headache I have headaches above this eye when I'm due on and they turn into migraines um and I thought that was going to be the case but when I have a migraine quite often what helps is sleeping and obviously I've been doing a lot of that so maybe that's what stopped it going too far and obviously I'm not on like a computer screen and things like I would normally be at work so um not as like irritated by it I guess but yeah I've definitely had like a headache on like this side of my head for a few days and I think that's where I get like my hormonal headaches I don't know um 
So yeah, I've had that. Other things I have felt this week are still sore boobs. My boobs are still really, really sore. My nipples are still really big <laughs> and like always out, like not out as in like I walk around with them out, but as in like, they're always like as if I'm cold. <laughs> Sorry if this is TMI. Um, and yeah, they're really sore my boobs, like just to touch, like yeah, sore. Um, my back has been sore which is something I also get when I'm due on a period. I've had some uncomfortable tummy pains, um, just like mild cramps, but nothing severe, just I've been aware of it. Um, what else? I think that might be it, you know. I think that might be it for my week six update. So yeah, now it's week seven, I'm a day into week seven, and it's just amazing. Like, apparently it's a blueberry now. I think in week six, was it a peppercorn? We haven't really got a name for it, and I know like it doesn't really sound nice calling it it. Like, obviously, sometimes we call it the baby, sometimes we call it like bump, sometimes we call it bubba, but it's not got. I remember like with my nephew Mac, when my sister told me she was pregnant, I think he was the size of a grape, and so like we called him grape for ages, or like, and then I think we called Toby Bean. Um, but yeah, nothing stuck like that just yet. So I think Ollie, like we we talk about it, but. I think obviously it's very early days and you just hope that everything is going to be going fine. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're pregnant, let me know in the comments. Let me know how far gone you are, if you've been pregnant before. Um, don't scare me. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will be doing another one next week for week seven. Let's hope it's a good week. <laughs> we cry. Over borders, get where we are, and it's all for you. It's all for you.